Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we're taking a look at what I would say is the most overrated electronic on social media right now, and that would be the Backbone One. I think that you're going to buy this and turn your phone into some sort of Steam Deck or something similar. I wouldn't hold your breath. Uh, this thing is really cool. That's about the only thing it has going for it. Uh, you see it has the lightning pass through. It has a headphone jack over here so you don't disturb people. Yet it has these extremely clicky buttons would be disturbing to some I did have to order the adapter for this I purchased mine off of Facebook marketplace I got this for only thirty dollars uh, which was a steal these are I think 79 to 100 in the store right now the biggest issue with this is unless you have an iPhone 14 Pro Max or above you're gonna want to get a bottle of Tylenol with this I'm going to show you why in a second. Another issue with this is your phone has to be out of the case. As you can see, my phone is heavily damaged with a case on. To use this controller, you have to take your phone out of the case each time. And then now you can put your phone in. So we're going to put our phone in like this. There is a proper way to do this so you don't break your lightning port on your phone or on this controller and this is the proper way you want to slide it out like this and then just insert it and then it is ready to go it has this backbone button right here so you're gonna push that this is gonna load up the backbone app and what this does is it's gonna tell you to join their subscription service that way you can use your controller with your computer or your iPad and they're gonna give you 90 days free and then it's $40 a year after that. I looked online to see if there was some sort of uh, driver they have for this controller so I could use it for my, uh, use it with my laptop, you know, other stuff like that. Um, there is no driver, no, I guess nobody's figured out how to, how to use it yet. Um, but let me just show you uh, what we're talking about here on like, say for instance, Xbox Cloud Gaming. This Steam Link and a couple other ones you can do on the iPhone. Uh, if you're going to be like side loading stuff on here, in my experience, it hasn't been that great because you will need to use Alt Store to get uh, like Dolphin Emulator. This is this is my cloud gaming. Uh, another thing, this is I, th I believe $16.99, $17.99. And you're going to get your games on here uh, that they offer to you. Now, I'm going to show you something. And that, this is one of the big reasons why I say that you're going to need a, at least an iPhone 14 Pro Max or above. I have an iPhone 14 Pro here. This is really, really going to strain your eyes. And I noticed it on this specific game. Last night, I have not tried to play this game until last night. And I'm, I'm going to show you how just how bad this is to try to read. Another thing, there's these black bars on the side. I cannot figure out how to get rid of them. I would rather it have been fully full screen. There's no option for that. Let me just turn this down so I don't get sued by Halo people. Okay, so press X to play. Now, if you guys can, try, try reading anything on that screen. This is where it's getting really tricky, is I tried to make out this letter right here, and I cannot even see what button it is. It says something to close. I can't tell if that's a B or a E. So I'm just going to push B. Okay, now it took me to the campaign. But yeah, let's, let's go back here. As you can see, there, there is so little screen on this. So you're going to have to squint your eyes to make out a lot of this stuff. And that this is like right in my face. So let's do like... Let's do like a multiplayer. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Halo 3. And it's going to start up. Real fine print right here says estimated wait is 22 seconds. 
Nice. Okay. Alright, there's me. There's somebody else. Very, very unnecessary. I, I know what the Halo characters look like. And I, I'm horrible at this game. I'm just gonna throw a grenade at my own, <laughs> at my own teammate. I'm already dead. Okay, respawning. <clears throat> Oops. He must have been wearing some armor or something. Because I know he withstood that grenade and like 50 bullets. Already dead. Yeah, so I mean, it's it's cool, I guess. But like I said, you it takes so long just to get into the game. And then you're squinting your eyes the entire time you're playing. If you have a bigger phone, that, that's good for you. Um, but what I'm using, this really, it's really hard to see. Even holding it this close to my face. But yeah, it's, it's just it's just really overrated. Um, again, you, you have like the Steam decks and stuff like that. The biggest thing to me is not being able to use my case with this. I can try to put it on real quick, but I, I don't think it's going to fit. But yeah, you just slot it out like this. And I was telling me they don't have a controller. And then we put our phone in here inside of the case. And I have one of the smallest cases you can get. And it's cracked now for some reason. Alright, so let's try to put this in here. Yeah, it's, there's just too much of a gap in there now. And this, this side is like hanging way far out. So, <clears throat> nothing you use with this is going to work with the case. You might be able to get like some sort of deep brand skin to go on here to protect, you know, the back of your phone. But then your cameras aren't going to be protected. So, yeah, I wouldn't plan on using a case with this. 